We're finishing off this pack of six sneakers, which is three videos with the pomegranate Air Force Ones and Nike Air Blazer mids. And I'm talking about already having done the indigos and we'll throw up the indigos of uh, both the Air Force Ones and the Blazers. And then straight after that was the Kati Ku. Um, we had a bit of a debate in that chat video about whether it was a Kati Ku or Kati Chu, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can see it behind me here. Both of those white bases, we had the Air Force One and Blazer indigos, white base, light blue, and then we had the Air Force One and uh, Blazer Mid uh, Katikus, and those were a white base with a sort of pastel pink. And then we come into today's shoe, the completes the set, the six shoes in total, three Air Force Ones, three Blazer Mids. Uh, and today it's the first uh, two, the only two that are in a black base, which is a massive difference from those previous four pairs of shoes, which all came with that white base. And on top of that black base, you've got a kind of tan look to the hits. It feels like gold. And I think that's because of the black. If this was a white base with the tan on it, you'd say, you know, that is tan. But it feels like gold because of the black. There's something about black and tan that go together to give it that gold feel, the base in black. Uh, so that's a big difference, major difference between the previous four and these two. But what we're going to get today is more than just that because they've moved around the branding again, as we saw in the previous two videos. And they've also flipped out the heels as well and done some different things on there. And then on top of all of that, you've got the great hits and the materials and the construction of the shoes anyway. So let's get into all of that as we take a close up look at the last of the two pairs of sneakers in the six sneaker pack, which is the Nike Air Force One and the Nike Blazer Mid Pomegranate. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Secret Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Secret Channel days. My name is Chapsuru no Day. My name is Jimmy Tikura Sai. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And as we get closer and closer to 1,000 consecutive days on YouTube, non stop, not a single day missed, I'm getting ready to put up a, a day counter. But we're at about 860. And I, I think that's a bit early. Maybe in a, a few months' time, we'll throw up a counter that says how many more days to go until we get to 1,000 consecutive days on YouTube, non stop. Stop. Fingers crossed, because imagine if I missed the day at this late stage, that would be terrible. Uh, and it's great to be doing it in this way. I, I've really appreciated these six shoes in this pack. Uh, and one of the big things about the way to do this was I was kind of, not confused, but I was thinking carefully about how to break them down. All six shoes in one video wouldn't work. They'd get diluted. One video for each shoe, so six different videos, a little bit too much. But fortunately, because of things like this here, uh, looking at today's shoe and that branding hit of pomegranate, in fact, I make sure to use the blazer for doing this because uh, the Air Force One branding is kind of different from what we were I was expecting. Uh, but what you should be able to see on the, that blazer mid lateral side branding is that beside the pomegranate flower it says fig three uh, for figure feed three because uh, the indigos were fig one and the catacous were fig two and then here we are with fig three and of course it says the same thing on the Air Force One shoes as well so that made it neat for me to be able to do uh, both indigo shoes together in one video both Kataku videos together in the other video and then for this the third and final video we have both pomegranate sneakers together so it uh, worked out well I really appreciate kind of being able to look at these sneakers in this kind of detail and hopefully it's working out well for you guys as well at home with the content so with that being said let's get into it we've already discussed how this is a black base shoe and that's unique compared to the other uh, four shoes in this pack and what we're going to do next I'm going to show you those two big changes in the branding one is a return to the indigos because we went somewhere else for the Kataku uh, and the other one is unique to this shoe and it's not on the indigos or the categories but then after we've looked at those branding shifts we'll go through all the cool hits on the shoe so first things first I'm going to go back to that blazer lateral side um, pomegranate design on there because that's been the same place on all three blazer shoes the indigos at the heel on the lateral side the catacus at the heel on the lateral side and here we are today with the pomegranates at the heel on the lateral side blazer mid blazer mid blazer mid done uh, but when we go back to the indigos for the um yeah, the Air Force Ones, you can see it's up there on the tongue. Hopefully I'm showing you that on the green screen behind me here. Uh, it's up there on the tongue. And then it was a big shift when we went over to the Catacuse and they moved that down to match the blazers on the heel side uh, of the lateral side of the heel. So you've gone a shift of that um, indigo flower on the tongue down to the Catacuse flower on the heel. But here we are, bang, there's the black base Air Force One pomegranates. And you can see that we're back up on the tongue and that's where the flower has shifted back to. So it's a bit of a change. Only the Catacuse have the Air Force One uh, standard 
branding on the tongue and the other two shoes uh, instead of having the standard Air Force One branding what they've got is the, the plant on there so a return uh, back to where we started from with the yeah, position of the flower on the Air Force One so that's one unique thing and then the other unique thing and we'll start with the Indigos and if I remember the Indigos right it was Nike on one heel and we're talking about the Blazers here we're talking about the branding on the back of the Blazers Nike on one heel um, and then the details of the flower on the other and then uh, Blazers again with the Kathaku uh, if I remember rightly, it was matching uh, on those heels. Uh, and then if we come to today's one, it's kind of unique. I'm not sure about those blazers though with the catacoos. I can't remember what they look like, but it doesn't matter because you can see the green screen here. Why am I even trying to remember? Um, but today's shoe is, is different from the other two in that it's got the Nike branding up high and then the details about the, uh, the plant down low on both of them, which is very, very different from the previous two blazer heels. And then if we go back again to the end, Indigo Blazer uh, Air Force One heels and you see what's going on there. Flip that out to the Katsuku uh, heels and then today we're back again to what was the original with the uh, Air Force Ones. It looks just like the Indigos did with a sort of base branding in Nike underneath the, the details about the flower on both shoes. So uh, so hopefully that's given you an idea of how these shoes have changed a little bit as far as the placement of the flower branding goes and also as far as uh, the branding on the heel goes as to whether it includes a bit about this, the flower or whether it doesn't with that Nike branding, whether it doesn't Nike branding on one shoe and a bit about the flower on the other shoe, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's uh, unique uh, to, to be able to look at that and get those changes. Uh, but then we have the things that are the same on the shoe. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to flip out from the heel. Uh, instead of looking at the cork first, which I've done in the other two videos, I'm going to look on the insole uh, and you see that pop of electric green on the inside there. I don't think it works. Uh, it worked really, really well on the first four shoes because they were a white base. Uh, and then I think this light green, electric green kind of, it melded in with the, the white, the clean white feel of the shoe. But when you've got a black shoe, as you can see here, both the Air Force Ones and the Blazers, inside that electric pop of green, it really really is in contrast to the black uh, and that makes it stand out even more and it kind of makes it stand out just a little too much if you ask me. Uh, but then back to the heels again we want to look at the branding at the top and then below that the little drop down stitch panel that holds the shoe together in that cork effect. Back over to the, uh, the uh, blazer tongues and I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying the blazer tongues have that cork branding on them which would mean that all three blazer tongues have the same cork branding on them uh, but the Air Force Ones as we saw already has the flower branding on them for this shoe instead of that cork branding and then down to the bottom of the laces the Dubrays at the bottom of both Air Force Ones which is kind of standard but the blazers which is kind of unique they both have Dubrays at the bottom and then finally into the toe itself and we've already talked in the other videos about how the Air Force One is a leather construction shoe with just one hit of canvas at the midfoot point whereas the blazer is canvas all the way through and I got a pretty good picture of the blazers at the toe to give you an idea of how much canvas is going on in there and then the last thing to do is flip these guys upside down since we're on the blazer might as well look at the blazer outsole and talk about how that's going uh, continuing that cork feel with the outsole uh, and then I've always I've said in the other two videos about how the midsole forms a border of white around the edge of that and that's very different to the Air Force One same style of outsole but without that border around the edge because the outsole on the Air Force One sort of wraps up onto the midsole of the shoe instead of being bordered by it. So, uh, so I think that's it. Now there was something in yesterday's video that right at the end I was like, oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, and then I was able to come back and mention it. And now I'm thinking I've forgotten to mention something again. Uh, and I wonder if I'll remember what that is because I remember what it was yesterday, but I might not remember what it is. So if I have missed out something, some detail on these shoes, some important fact, uh, then, you know, head us up with a comment down below and let us, let us all know. So we're done with these six shoes. Uh, hopefully that was a good way to do it for you. It wasn't too boring to have the same three videos one after the other with the different silhouettes. I think it would have been terrible to do six videos, one about each individual shoe. And I think doing one video about all six shoes in one video would have been too much as well. So I think I found a good balance, two shoes, two uh, over three days, uh, giving you that difference and the similarities between the two. So with that being said, it's time to finish up these three videos, uh, one after the other, this pack of six shoes. We'll be into something else tomorrow. Um, and it's been great just to do this. Hope you've appreciated it. I appreciate you guys checking out the content. And the only thing to do at the end of my videos is to tell you the thing that I tell you every single day. And that's because I do this every single day. You are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.